Hi, this is Grace Pamela with Summerana.com, and this is a preview and tutorial for the Sparkler Overlay Action Collection. So, first off, I am going to select Nightshade, and this will add um, a little more darkness to our image. Press Continue, and then we want to choose a soft brush at a lower opacity. That way you can take some of the darkness off of her face. And at even a lower opacity, with a bigger brush, you can kind of take it off all around so it's not as dark. Next you can click Sparkler Nights. And this will add a little more depth. Again, the same thing. You can also adjust the opacity of each layer. And you can add as many sparkler nights or nightshade layers as you'd like to maximize each effect. After you have applied your night prep, you can go to apply a sparkler stick overlay or apply a sparkler overlay, whichever you prefer to do. I think I'm just going to go ahead and select apply a sparkler overlay for her. And then you have to go to Libraries, Folders, and select the folder where it says Sparkler and Shine Overlay Collection or any other Sparkler collection that contains the overlays you wish to use. Once you've opened that folder, you'll have all of your overlays here and you can select whichever one you'd like. I'm going to choose this heart and then select Place. Um, if you're not sure how big you want it or small, I would just make it nice and big first so you don't lose any pixelation. Press the check mark. And then you can better see where you want it. So you can go down to resize and rotate your sparkler. Select your overlay. Press play. Then you can resize it to fit wherever you'd like it. Her hand is right here. Um, I don't really need a sparkler stick um, just because it kind of already looks like it's right in front of her. Press the check mark. You can also flip and rotate it however you'd like. They're very easy to do. Um, it just makes it faster. You can also change the sparkler um, perspective and I'll show you that on another image. And then you can go down to the sparkler editor. You can change the sparkler stick color, I'll show you that one. Uh, you can simmer it down and shine it a little brighter. This just adds um, darkness or brightness. You can also change the opacity to maximize the effect. And then these are different tints that you can use for your sparkler. You can do ash white, and again, adjust the opacity to however white you want it or whatever tint you're using. You have ember blue, scorched yellow, burnt sienna, and you can also just simply add more color. You can also use this after you've used, um, let's say, the ash white or scorched yellow. You can um, move the layer up more and then that will cover everything below it to the clipping mask. So if you're, here let's see, let me add scorched yellow. So you can see it's adding more color to the scorched yellow, just as long as it's above the scorched yellow or whatever tint you're using. Or you can just use this color. Okay, so then after that, you can also go to Warm Sparkler Glow or Cool Sparkler Glow. 
and this adds a tint not just to your sparkler but to your entire image if you'd like. You can also just have it in certain areas. So let's say you don't really want it around here, you just want it around your actual sparkler so that it looks like it's glowing around her. You can do that. You can also blur your sparkler and this might be more accurate for the smaller sparkles um, around let's say a wedding you might want some of them blurred and then you can also make your image black and white and then you also have an array of tools that will help speed up your workflow faster so I'm gonna head over to a different image now I'm gonna go ahead and select nightshade again you'll want to brush it off of them a little bit. You don't want them too dark because you want your subjects to pop. Sparkler Night. Same thing. And then I'm going to go ahead and select Apply Sparkler Overlay and select an overlay. I'm going to show you how to use this overlay. Um, when you're resizing your overlay, you should hold down the shift key on your keyboard as you're dragging it, or select the link up here, and then that will do it for you. Otherwise, if you don't, and you try dragging it, it'll distort it. press the check mark and then press continue. Now for an overlay like this where you want to brush it off of them I would not use a soft brush but I would use a hard. You can go ahead and zoom in and you can start brushing it off of them. Now actually you're gonna want to figure out how this works first. So I'm gonna say this is in front back, front, back, front, back, front. So you're going to want to just take it off that way. So front, back, make sure your opacity is at 100%. And you can zoom in if you'd like. I'm just going to do it really quick so you can see. If you make a mistake and you brush too much off, simply select a white brush, um, zoom in, and you can paint it right back. And then select a black to paint it off. If you're not sure and you can't really see, you can lower the opacity of the layer and you can kind of get a better feel of where her hair is or whatever. Um, you're trying to add it around. There you go. So there we have that. And um, add some sparkler glow. Now this, actually, I'm glad this happened because you might freak out and wonder, hmm, it's broken, but it's really not. The only reason why I have put this in here is to be safe when you're adding edits, which is up here, which I did not add it might try to um, add to the clipping mask, to the sparkler. Now this is an entire image action, so I just selected this so that I could bring it to the front and um, make sure it's not clipped to any clipping mask at all. So just press continue and you're good to go. Again, you can adjust the opacity for varying effects. And I think that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to head over to Photoshop Elements. I'm going to go ahead and show you. It's the same exact thing as in Photoshop, except 
things are moved around a little bit differently. Um, let's see. Your brush, our, your brush size and opacity are down here. So you can choose a regular brush and then go to brush settings. And here you can choose the softness of the brush or the hardness for the different effects that you want and then the opacity. So that's pretty much the only thing that's different. Um, otherwise, they all run the same. They work the same way. Okay, I'm going to head over to this one. Now I'm going to show you really quick um, how to add a sparkler stick overlay. So you just go to apply a sparkler stick overlay, press continue, go to your overlay, and then select one of the two uh, sparkler sticks. These are in PSD formats. So you can choose either the color sparkler stick, which adds, um, has a colorful stick, and it's a wooden one, or you can choose a silver one. This might be more appropriate for weddings and such. Um, this one also, you have to press shift on your keyboard or go down here, instead of a link, there's a box that says constrain proportions. And then that would do it for you. So you're going to go ahead and try to make it proportionate to her as much as possible. I'm just going to do a quick edit. It's not going to be perfect. And press continue. And there you have your little sparkler stick. Really quick, I'm going to show you how to edit the color sparkler stick. Now I'm just going to show you this really quick. So to edit a sparkler stick, you can change the color of the stick to match your image. You'll simply choose a color in your image or anywhere in the color picker box. And then I would use a hard brush. And then you just color over your stick. Now, if it doesn't exactly turn out the color that you want, you can change the blending mode to saturation or any other one that might work better. To change the color, let's say you don't like it and you want to change it, you can simply click around in here. in your color picker box and press OK and that's how you do that. If you want to make it um, darker so that it has more contrast you can go to simmer down make sure you click your actual stick press continue and then you can make it darker so that it matches your image more and that's how you edit the sparkler sticks So once you have your sparkler stick, you can go ahead and go to apply sparkler overlay. And you can choose any one of these sparks. And then press place. And put it right about where you want your sparkler. You're going to want to select a hard paintbrush and brush it off at 100 opacity around her fingers so that way it looks like she's holding it you can also make this darker so that it fits in more with the image and you can also make your sparkler a little darker
And that's how you add a sparkler stick overlay. Another thing that I wanted to show you um, let's see this isn't really the appropriate image for it but I'll just show you really quick I want to show you how to change the sparkler perspective and how it might work for you if on a different image let's say somebody is spinning around and you want to capture that you can select an overlay and you can go to change sparkler perspective make sure overlay is clicked and press play here you can play around with it so that it can match the action that they're doing As if she were standing up and dancing. This is something that you can do to make it look like it's in motion. You can just kind of play around with it. And then press the check mark. And then you're going to want to erase it off of her. Some parts of it, not all of it. So it kind of looks like it's going around her. And if you had that sparkler still in her hand. That's just something that you can do um, with the perspective action. So there you have it. That's the preview and tutorial of the Sparkler Action um, collection by Samrona.com. Thank you.